This video is going to just go over how to compute average rate of change, which is the same thing as slope, um, just between two points. So slope is the change in y over the change in x, and we can write this as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, we can also write this in function notation. This is something that if you take a further math class other than college algebra, you will see this function notation. Um, and that's another way that we would write slope or rate of change. If your slope ends up being positive or your rate of change ends up being positive, then the result is going to be an increasing function or a line that goes up as x increases. If your slope is negative, then you end up having what's called a decreasing function or something that goes down as x increases. And then if m is equal to zero, then in our equation for slope intercept form, you end up getting just the line y equals b of whatever your y-intercept is. So let's look at this example here and find the slope and then talk about if we think that line is going to be increasing or decreasing based off of that. So I'm going to call this point point one. So that's going to be x1, x1, y1. I'm going to call this point two, x2, y2. And so our slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I get one plus two minus negative two is plus two. So I get three and then over five. Since this is a positive, then I know that my line will be increasing. All right, let's look at another application example. So let's say that we know the population of a city increased between these two numbers, between these two years. And maybe that's the only two data points that I know. Um, if we assume that that rate of change is constant, then let's find this rate of change. So I'm gonna write this as a, maybe a table would be nice. Okay, so time and then population, 2008, 2400, 2012, gives me 27,800. And so I can call this x1, x2, this is y1, y2. And again, the average rate of change is the same thing as slope. So I'm going to plug into my slope formula. I take 27,800 and subtract out 23,400. I get 4,400. And then this is four years here. I could divide, and so I get 1,100 people per year is my average rate of change between those two years.